bit of time. Humanitarian partners in Zimbabwe, but with the, with the committed group of people that I see in front of me, I am confident we will get there. Today's humanitarian fair will help us share in, effect, in effective information packaging and dissemination to their various constituencies while strengthening between selected humanitarian organizations and the media. This has resulted in a steadily increasing number of stories on humanitarian issues that have been between January and June 2012, altogether 30,618 people were assisted. And the importance of uh, a day like this is to celebrate and uh, is to celebrate our achievements and uh, to celebrate people that have been able to help other people. And They, they practically, I mean, they, they make the irrigation system work. And we see how the water really floods into the, each, each type of, of um, what has been uh, sowed here. And it just, it, 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 it works and it looks good. Um, and I think the, what's nice about it is that it's, it's based around these uh, phases that first they focus on food security, which then, then branch out and into now they've been able to market some of these things and actually also make a living off of it. And um, that's impressive. Yeah. And it's big.
She has a word for the girl child. I had a series of vaginal discharges and was being treated for sexually transmitted illnesses by various medications until I get very sick and a friend suggested that I should go to this doctor. The doctor did a lots of investigations then he told me I had cancer of the cervix and nothing would be done. He told me if I had only had the pap smear earlier But my breast kept being so very big and they were so painful and bleeding. Then I decided to seek medical attention. The doctors had told me that I had breast cancer and it was advanced. There was nothing I could do about it. I just wish I had seeked treatment earlier. Cancers are preventable and curable. Early detection prevents significant sickness and death. If you're a sexually active woman, get a routine pap smear done. And do self-breast examinations and visit your doctor for breast examinations routinely. And if you're a man, discuss prostate cancer with your doctor. It saves lives.